Back in the 1960s and 1970s, environmentalism wasn't a politically divisive issue. Americans were unified in their desire to clean up pollution and protect nature. In fact, Richard Nixon, a Republican, signed the Clean Air Act and the Clean Water Act and created EPA. Even today, people across the political spectrum share that love of nature. And as president, I'm going to bring this country together by making my environmental policy all about people and places and communities. A lot of people don't know that I spent 40 years of my career as an environmental lawyer, representing commercial and recreational fishermen and just regular Americans who were harmed by pollution. I brought hundreds of cases against companies like Mobil and Exxon and Chevron and Texaco to restore the Hudson River. Today, the Hudson River is an international model for ecosystem protection. I sued DuPont, Mitsubishi, and Ford to force them to clean up chemical spills. I sued Monsanto on behalf of farm workers and home gardeners and families who develop cancer from using their pesticides. And I battled all kinds of government agencies and giant corporations. I've fought and won victories for family farmers in our heartland, for mountain communities in rural West Virginia, for inner city neighborhoods in New York City, for indigenous peoples in Ecuador and Canada and the western parts of the United States and even in New Jersey. And the organization that I co-founded, Waterkeeper Alliance, has become the largest water protection organization in the world, protecting 2.7 million miles of waterways all over the planet. These victories will set the tone for my environmental policy as president. My administration will protect America's wild places. We will rebuild America's soils. We will get toxic chemicals out of our water system, out of our food, out of our air. We will help industry transition to zero waste and clean manufacturing. We will transform our agricultural systems to get pesticides out of our food supply. These are gonna be my priorities. I want people to understand that in my view, climate change is real and it is an existential threat. But I'm not gonna ask everyone to accept that or to get on board with the climate change orthodoxy. Besides, very few people are inspired by a line on a graph that leads to an eventual apocalypse. Instead, I'm gonna prioritize the goal that I hope all Americans share. We all, whether we're Republican or Democrat or Independent, wanna protect our health, our children, our farmland, our wilderness areas. And we can do all that in a way that helps the climate too. When we build soils, we safeguard our food supply and we draw down carbon. When we restore forests and wetlands, we preserve wildlife habitat and mitigate floods and droughts. When we clean up toxic pollution and spills, we protect our communities and the complex biosphere that keeps our planet in balance and gives us climate resilience. And when we replace dirty fuels with cleaner, more efficient, and less expensive sources of energy in a true free market that doesn't rely on subsidies and crony capitalism, we protect our health and we reduce carbon emissions dramatically. So I'm gonna pursue win-win policies that make sense from both inside and outside of the climate perspective. As president of the United States, I'm gonna do more than any president in American history to protect our sacred forests, our wildlife, our landscapes, our rivers and streams, our shorelines and oceans, and our Purple Mountains Majesty. Because I understand that we're not just protecting nature for nature's sake. We're protecting it for our sake. America is a nation of nature lovers. It's true of liberals and conservatives and urban and rural folk and climate activists and climate skeptics. So as president, I'm gonna tap into the American love for nature, to protect our environment and to inspire the whole world with our example. If you like this video and you wanna learn more about me and the movement that we're building, please go to Kennedy24.com.